All right, Chinese dance box step five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four. Boom. All right, some jazz box steps. Let's go. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. <laughs> Are you ready to box step through any genre of dance? <laughs> Hi everyone! Now, if you're ever confused about which feet steps where and you lose the counts for doing a box step while you're doing any genre of dance, really, you know, it could be Chinese dance, it could be jazz, it could be Zumba, it could be any of your Latin social dancers, it could be um, waltz, it can be you know, so many different things. And if you've ever been really confused, this video is for you and you definitely want to stay all the way till the end. Now, I've been so confused myself, you know, throughout dancing since I was seven. So that makes it... How many years have I been dancing for? I've been dancing for 24 years. So since I was seven, you know, I've had many times where I've been so confused and I'm like, oh my goodness, box step. Like, how am I getting so confused over such a simple thing? So I thought today would be a really, really good time. We can spend some time together, break it down and make it simple and easy for you to understand in a step-by-step -step manner. By the way, if you haven't already, subscribe to us, okay? Because we have new content coming up every week. Dance tips, time, dance tricks for you. And every single week, we have brand new stuff for you. And if I haven't introduced myself already, hi, my name is Sandra Faustina, and I'm also the founder of Free Movement Solutions and your dance instructor here. Now, I just want to reassure you, if there's any time in the video you got to re-watch that, just go ahead to do that because no shame in that. That's why this video is here for you forever, okay? So just re-watch that if you ever need. But there are just some things that you're going to need before we actually start on this tutorial. Also, I want to say that if you have any questions along the way, don't hesitate to drop it down below, okay? We'll definitely answer you. All of us here at Free Movement is here to support you in your journey. So definitely, definitely drop your comments down below so that we can answer you individually. So, okay, before we start, I just want to let you know that we're going to use tape today. What kind of tape, you ask? Ta-da! Just use whatever tape that you have at home, okay? Because you see the setup down there. That is exactly what we're going to do. But before we do that, let's head over to the whiteboard so that I can show you step by step what exactly we're going to do and how to make sense of it all. All right, let's head over to the whiteboard. All right, so let's jump into this very, very quickly so that you understand where exactly to use the tapes so that we can go ahead to do the actual steps. All right, so the first thing you're going to mark is your center. Okay, this is basically where you're going to step both feet on. So just put the tape down on where you're going to stand. This will be your center center. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to need four more small pieces of tape and you're going to tape it on one, two, three, four over here as shown. Okay, now the trick is you are going to want to paste the tape about a foot length away from the center cross, okay? Meaning, don't put it too far away and don't be overly ambitious. Don't worry about that. If you want to travel more, we can talk about that another time. But just for today, just make sure you're one step away, meaning you don't have to take a big step and go over. You just need to take one small step away, okay? So just make sure that you have this in place, all right? And you want to remember one, two, three, and four. Okay, so if you want to go ahead to write down one, two, three, and four because that's going to help you. And if that's going to help you, that's going to be amazing. So once you've taped this, let's go over and dance. All right, like I said, this is exactly how you're going to tape it. You're going to have five different tapes and it's just kind of small piece. Okay, ignore all the grey crosses around. It's just our safe distancing measures here in the studio because of the whole COVID situation. But anyway, just focus on these five black tapes here, okay? So the first tape you're going to mark is this centre tape over here. That's your first tape. Now, how are you going to mark your one, two, three, and four tapes? It's very simple. You want to make sure that you're not taking an extremely big step away, okay? You just want to make sure that it's just a foot away. Comfortably, you can just step there. Okay, so this is very comfortable. Like, I don't have to purposely reach out anywhere, okay? And if you feel like you are completely off and stuff like that, don't worry too much. As long as you try and make sure that, you know, it's all in a straight line, you're good to go. 
All right, so try not to have one really far, one slightly near. You know, just tape it where you feel like it's comfortable because ultimately, it's okay if, your, if everyone's body is slightly different because some people have one side legs longer than the other stuff like that. Don't think so much, okay? Don't think so much about that. Let's just dance, okay? It's very simple. All right, what we're gonna do is you're gonna put your, put your foot together first, okay? So we call this the close parallel or we call it the sixth position, just depending on which genre of dance, okay? And then what we're gonna do now is we are going to step on number one, okay? So number one is right over here. So what you're going to do Okay, so this is my left leg and this is your right leg. <laughs> my left leg, y'all. <laughs> I meant. <laughs> okay, your body you're going to do, okay, let's start with the right side first, okay? You need to always remember that when you're doing the box step, it's always crossing over. It is never this way. Alright, for the first step forward. All right. Now, you want to make sure that you're always crossing first. Okay, so one more time, step on your center tape. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your right foot because you're starting with the right side and you're going to step on number one. Okay, then the next thing you're going to do from here is now you're going to take your left leg. So you see this cross going on? You're going to uncross it by crossing over to the front. Okay, that means you're not doing this. Okay, so we're not playing twister. So just make sure that you're crossing over the front to number two. And then from here, the only way you can untwist yourself is for your right leg to go over to number three. So you're going to go over to number three. And then what you're going to do from here, okay, you are going to go over to number four with your left leg. Okay, so this is basically all that there is. And then you're always going to come back to center again, just to center yourself. Okay, so let's try that one more time. Five, six, let's go slow. Right leg cross to number one. Nice. And then we're going to go left leg cross in front to number two. Right leg cross to the back to number three. Left leg to number four. Now, don't worry if you're not stepping on your sticker, okay? It's just a rough guide for you. If you want, you can look down to the floor and you go, okay, Right leg cross over to number one, left leg cross in front to number two, right leg go behind to number three, and left leg go to number four. Okay? Practice that a few times, just get used to it, but I'm going to give you a very, very quick tip now, which is, if you want to make this easier for you, remember to bend your supporting leg, okay? Now, in dance, what it means to have a supporting leg and a working leg is that when you have one leg that is kind of moving around, this is called the working leg because it's working, it's moving, it's doing all of the things that, that you are supposed to do. And then the supporting leg will be the one that's supporting all of the weight. All right, so what you want to do is you want to always make sure that whichever leg is your working leg, okay, you want to make sure that your supporting leg is bent or what we call plie. Okay, so a plie basically means that you are really sitting and holding your core, putting your weight on your supporting leg, okay, so that your working leg can do what it needs to do. All right, so there is always a working leg and a supporting leg. Okay, so one more time, in order to make it easier for you, what you want to do is you want to bend your knees. All right, so bend both knees first, or we're going to do plie. And then we're going to do a right crossover. So you see how there is no weight on my right leg. Okay, no weight on my right leg. Then you're going to do a weight transfer over to your right leg. Vroom. And then you're going to do left leg crossover. Okay, left leg crossover, weight transfer. So now this becomes a supporting leg. And you are going to go to the back because this is your working leg now. You can move your weight. And then from here, you're going to transfer your weight to the back so that you can step out as well. Okay, if that was a lot, okay, take your time to really think about it. But okay, let's just walk it through and just make it sound easier. Just close your eyes and I want you to think of your one, two, three, fours. We're still going to do your right leg, okay? Still stick with your right leg. You're going to go five, six, seven, right leg, go one, two, three, four. Okay, 
Did that feel okay? One more time. You see, watch what I'm doing. I'm just gonna go one, two, three, four, again, go one, two, three, four, again, go one, two, three, four, again, go one, two, three, four. So essentially, you're just doing this box motion. All right? So let's try that again. Five, six, seven, number one, go one, and a two, and a three, and a four, go to one, one, and a two, and a three, and a four, one more time, go one, and a two, and a three, and a four, again, go one, and a two, and a three, and a four, again, go one, and two, and three, and four, again, go one, and a two, and a three, and a four, swing your arms, go one, and a two, and a three, and a four, go one, and two, and three, and four. Very nice. All right, well done. All right, so if this is making sense to you so far, I want you to drop it down in the comments below. Love, L-O-V-E, love, so that I know that this is actually making sense to you, okay? But if you feel like there are any other questions that you really don't understand what in the world I'm talking about, anyway, just drop it down in the comments below as well so that we can all answer your questions. All right, we're always here to support you. And because we're doing that, let's try it one more time and we're gonna try it with music, okay? Let's try that one more time. Bear in mind, we're doing always the right leg first. We'll go over to the left leg later on, all right? So make sure to stay all the way to the end because you don't want to be just one side dominant, okay? You wanna have both sides that can do the box step. All right, let's try again. Let's go, five, six, Bend your knees, go one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Again, go one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight. Go one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five, six, seven, eight. All right, very nice, okay. So, shall we try this with music? Yes, okay, let's do it with music. You ready? Listen to the music, let's count. Can you hear the music? Bounce to the music. Bounce, two, three. All right, very nice. Let's count the music. Can you hear the music? All right, I want you to count to the music because that's important. All right, ready? Step on your center cross. Let's go slow. Slow, five, ready, one, two, three, four, real smile, one, two, three, four, again, go one, two, three, four, again, go one, Two, three, four, slightly faster, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, go. One, two, three, four. Go. One, two, three, four. Awesome. All right. Just for the sake of it, Let's slowly try the left side, okay? It's very simple. You're going to go two, one, four, three. Let's go very slow first. Don't worry too much. You can always repeat this and practice again, all right? Any questions, drop it down in the comments below. We're here to support you. Ready? Left side. Five, six, seven, slow. One. I should say the numbers of the tag. Okay, let's try that again. Ready? Five, six, seven, going slow. Go two, left leg crossover, right leg swing over, boom. And you're gonna go to four, right? Back leg goes back, four. And you're gonna go out, open it up. All right, one more time. Back to center. All right, left side. Cross. Over, crossover. Back leg, open it up. Right leg, open it up. 
Alright, ready? Now, your left leg is going to go over to two. Right leg is going to go over to one. Back leg, your left leg is going to go back to open. Right leg is going to go open. Okay, and now you're going to go over to three. Alright, let's try that one more time. Back to the center. Alright, are you ready? Left side, five. It's going slow. Six, seven. Ready, go. One. One. And step. And step. All right. Again, go one. And step. And step. And step. Slightly faster. One. Step. 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 And step. 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 Step, go, step, and a step, and a step, and a step, go, step, and a step, and a step, and a step. All right. And that was both your right and your left side. Okay, so for those of you who have got it already, well done, well done, well done, well done. And for those who are still struggling a little bit, that is wonderful. It just means that your body is adjusting to it, okay? Just remember a couple of things, okay? First tip is to bend your knees, bend your supporting leg, okay? That's important because it's holding all of your weight to make sure that you have your working leg that can move around, okay? So the second tip, all right, is to just make sure that you have fun. Because the box step, it can be a really small step, just depending on the genre of dance. It can also be a really big step, boom, 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 sa. Jazz, always big steps, right? So it just really depends. So that's why I say figuratively, the, the distance of the four stickers, it really doesn't matter because this is just helping you with the directions. Because if I really wanted to go big and go boom, because usually for jazz, it's always like big steps, right? It's always big, 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 big. But, you know, sometimes for certain social dances, it's usually very small, right? It's always... Small, 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 and that's okay. For, in for instance, usually Zumba is not that big a step, right? Unless it's a lot of traveling. But sometimes you see in contemporary dance, vroom, it's still a box step as well. So different movements will come from just this box step. For instance, when I did the Chinese dance room right in the beginning, if you saw that with the scarf, okay, all I did was I actually did a box step, but from here, what I did was I just pulled my leg in and I did a slide. Is that a box step? Yes. It's still a box step because essentially what you're doing is still reaching out for all of your diagonals. So if your goal is to really master the box step, go ahead to rewatch this video again and again until you really, really get the whole idea. You don't even have to think about it because when it's muscle memory and your body understands it, you don't have to think about it and that's the whole fun of it. You can just move with the music, you can go different directions, directional flows and stuff and that's where all the fun is, okay? So just get used to it, get your body used to it. You know, if you're, if you're in the train, you know, just do a little bit and just practice wherever it is because ultimately, a box step is a box step. Regardless of genre, regardless of dance, regardless of fitness activities, if it's a box step, it's a box step, all right? It's just how big a step you're going to go, you know, how, which direction you're going to go, you know, which leg you're going to start with or lead with first, all of that good stuff, but it is a box step. So do give us a like if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe below as well because every single week we have new content coming up. By the way, share this with your friends if you found this very beneficial and this would also help them too. And practice, practice, practice as a group with your friends or do it online over Zoom. So go ahead to follow us on our social media as well. So that's at Free Movement Solutions. And I just want you to know that all of us here at Free Movement, we are always here to support you in your dance journey. So if you're ever looking for any dance classes or like if you ever need like a marley mat or a bar, you know who to go to. But thank you so much for spending time here today. I love you and I'll see you next week. Bye!